We're here in Charing Cross Tube Station where Sony have invited us for the launch of a new product. Now it might strike you as a bit of an odd place to launch a new product, but uh, John Barrow is going to tell us why. John, why have they brought us here then? Well, the reason is this. It's the new X-Series uh, Walkman MP3 player. The reason we're down here is Sony are really aiming this at commuters. And Sony are really hoping people are going to take this with them when they're travelling, travelling for leisure, travelling for work, and it's going to help them pass the time. OK, so you, you mentioned music player and video player. Can you tell me a bit about those those functions? Yeah, well, Sony are really, really happy about this. They're really proud of this. And they've got a three-inch OLED display, and they say that the picture quality is like having the cinema in your pocket. And uh, what OLED is, it's just a, a type of screen, like an LCD, for example, but it reduces power consumption and it also promises to have better picture quality. So you can watch videos on this screen, watch films, uh, download uh, images and things, watch them all on this. As the screen itself, we've not tested the picture quality yet, we'll do that at our lab, but um, We've watched some videos here while we've been down in the station. The picture quality does look fantastic. Um, as for the actual size, it's pretty good. It's slightly smaller than the touch. Um, we didn't watch a whole film, so you might get a bit of you know, eye ache if you do watch a whole film, but it looks pretty good so far. So uh, what about the music playing capabilities? Well, as you know, with an MP3 player, the music playing is everything. I mean, it's nice that it's got a video player. It's great that it's got some other exciting functions. But it's going to be the music player that makes or breaks this device. And Sony, again, very, very proud of their music player on this. The first thing is it's got a, a new processor, which Sony claim really reduces distortion at high volume. They've also got these new uh, noise cancelling headphones. They just plug in up at the top in the regular headphone jack. Uh, cuts out background sound. You can even use them, you know, if you're in a, a loud place, you just want a bit of peace and quiet, plug them in. Don't turn, this, don't turn the player on and you can have a bit of peace and quiet. We've had a quick go with it. We're going to test it properly in our lab, but I have to say the sound quality does seem really impressive. And uh, how about the interface? What's it like to actually use? Well, I'll quickly show you it. It's generally very easy. Most of it's done through the three-inch uh, touchscreen. So you've got your main, your main features here, the main icons, you just flick, move around. Very, very simple and home button on the side. But Sony have also included a few hard buttons. So we've got you know, noise cancelling and, and the volume. We've got sort of fast forward and play there. And the reason for that is, you know, if it's tucked in your pocket, you're commuting, you're out jogging, you just want to operate. You don't want to whip it out of your pocket every time you want to do something. So that's quite a nice feature. But most of the controls are done through here and it's very, very simple to operate. All right, and uh, what's the memory capacity of this? It's quite large, really. It's 16 or 32 gigs, so that's pretty much equivalent to the Touch. The Touch also have a, a slightly smaller one, but 16 or 32, so it will hold most of the songs you're going to want to carry with you. So what does it cost? Well, uh, it's priced very similar to the Touch, actually. The 16 gig is £209, the 32 gig is 279 They're Sony's prices, so things might change. You might find it a bit cheaper, it might be a bit more expensive in your local store. Um, that's quite expensive, you might think, but again, it's like the Touch in that it's not just a regular MP3 player. It's got some other advanced features. Probably the most exciting, the one you're going to use most, is this one up at the top left. It's web access. Now, we're underground, so we can't look at that, but, you know, if you're above ground, you can use that all over. There's also an FM radio, which the Touch doesn't have. Um, you can view photos on your three-inch screen. There's also podcasting, and nicely with the podcasting, it'll automatically update when you go into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you get a regular series, it'll download the latest episode whenever you want it. A couple of other things it has on. If you're listening to music, you can press uh, on the touch screen and it will bring up all the YouTube videos from the artist. You can also go to Yahoo and look up facts about them. Um, Sony have made sure there's a, a good interface with BBC iPlayer so you can download, you know, all your favourite shows and watch them when you're commuting. So it's more than just a regular MP3 player. It does have these advanced features, but with that sort of quite high price, you, you do have to pay for that. What's your overall opinion then, John? Well, I have to say I really like it. I've only had it a, an hour or so, but I find it very, very easy to use. The touchscreen interface is great. It's simple to find your way around. Sound quality is good and videos look really, really impressive. I have one slight reservation. Um, I don't want to give a complete verdict until I've got lab results. And the reason for this is that this is going to be all about sort of sound quality and image quality. And we won't know those properly until we get our lab results. Then we'll be able to compare it to other models like the Touch, and then I'll be able to give you my final verdict. All right, but if Sony's claims are to be believed, then it looks like they're onto a winner. Definitely. All right. Uh, there are lots of other MP3 player reviews on our website at www.witch.co.uk.